Fantastic. So if you've got an invention, then bring it on down. As Katie says, you could be sitting on your fortune. Well, first up tonight, a new solution to getting around our crowded cities. It's an electric tram, but what makes this one different from the rest is that it uses underground wires to guide it through the streets. It's been driven in from nearby Althorpe House, where it's been trialled this summer. Now, of course, we didn't lay underground wires ourselves to get the tram here. It also has the ability to be driven as an ordinary vehicle, too. As you can see, it's thinner than a standard tram or bus. It's about the width of a car specifically designed for historic cities with narrow and winding streets. Well, with me is Martin Pemberton, who invented it. So why did you design it? Well, conventional trams are very expensive, and the infrastructure required to operate them is very obtrusive. How exactly does it work? Well, what we've got here is a tram that is basically taking the best of the bus and of the light rail mm. system, and it runs along a guided wire which is um, buried beneath the road. That, is that dangerous to us if we're walking across it? Is it? No, not at all, no. It's basically like a pair of, um, of cables which mm. could be like the um, sort of telephone cable or, or um, TV cable under the street, mm. and it generates a signal, and the array of sensors under the tram follows that along. So it's totally safe. Whereabouts are we going to see a tram like this? Well, the current, uh, this vehicle is actually running at Althorpe House in uh, Northamptonshire, but we hope to have a, a tram like this running very soon in places like Stratford-on-Avon or even Lincoln City. Okay, thank you, Martin. Well done. Okay, thank you. Now, during our